past 200 years, humans have dramatically altered our ecosystems and our environments. And created a vector, opened the door for a huge number of invasive species. Species that are not native to the Great Lakes. The basis for the formation of the Great Lakes Fishery Commission in 1954 was the sea lamprey, Petromyzum marinus, and that animal has been tremendously harmful to our ecosystem. In the Great Lakes, you have a lamprey this big attaching to a fish this big. In that circumstance, lamprey become predators. Sea lamprey are kind of the vampires of the Great Lakes, if you will. They have this kind of creepy looking buccal cavity with all these teeth in it, the sucking mouth part. They attach and inside that mouth is a rasping tongue that has teeth on there that they use almost as a drill, hitting over and over on the fish until it bores a hole in. They also release an anticoagulant that keeps the blood and bodily fluids flowing. A single lamprey can consume up to 10 to 20% of its body weight in blood in a single day. So it may only take one or two days for a large lake trout to die from a lamprey attack. At the same time they were down is when sea lamprey invaded the system and it really was the final knockout punch essentially to lake trout. And so sea lamprey have been and continue to be uh, a, a huge threat to our, our resources. A single lamprey to get to the size where it's spawning likely destroys up to 40 pounds of fish uh, in its single life. Multiply that times tens of thousands of lamprey, you have more dead fish caused by lamprey than more fish that are caught by commercial and recreational fisheries combined. So without control and without natural predators, sea lamprey can very quickly infest rivers in the larval stage and then that bleeds out into the lakes where they kill fishes. So that right there is just one of the reasons why we don't want critters like sea lamprey to get up into the Boardman River watershed. 